Howdy, folks. All right, I'm working on the seats today. I still got to knock these, I cut these off. They were rusted, a few of them fell through. A few of them fell through on the seats that I had to make. Sloppy, but it'll hold. I have cut that piece of wood out and put it in there and it's screwed in. I just gotta staple that down. And then I gotta put the brackets for the sliding back and forth seat on that. And finish the bottom of the seat covers. So that's all I have left on the seats. And that's what I'm working on, obviously, because I ain't got nothing else to work on. The snapper is running good. I just need two front tires. So waiting on that. And I need more paint, a lot more paint, and some bed liner for the bottom. So that's where I'm at. I'll show you guys the finished product of the seats because all the wood pretty much was rusted out of them and not rusted out, but rotted out. And a lot of the metal was rusted out. So I'll show you guys the finished product soon same spot as she was last time all right me and sue are all done with the passenger seat it was the easiest because the back wasn't blown out yet but there you go i could <laughs> that one bolt i didn't get in there i still gotta put that in but yeah she's all done for now sorry about the focus but that one's done now I just gotta finish up that one. We're in business. Alright, so I'm gonna make this the end of the video for the buggy. Um <clears throat> I got the seats finished. That was a big hurdle. Now I'm working on the brakes. I got that little brake. It was rusted obviously with that last piece, so I welded it back on there. And I got to clean the master cylinder up and see how it looks on the inside and whatnot. And then I'm going to start working on cleaning this up, the back half, and a couple of shocks. But <clears throat> for the most part, she's coming together. Thursday, I'm going to buy some paint and start painting the frame, and then I can start reassembling it. I want to show you all the bonus footage. I'm pretty sure I had it running the other day. I can't, I gotta watch my footage. Let's see. to have it oh, that's on black this is what I'm using for primer it's a rusty metal primer never used it before we're gonna find out how good that works I got it all on the bottom in the bad rusty spots and then I bought this uh, undercoating corrosion resistant so I'm gonna do that on the bottom and I think I might do the floor pan on the inside too and then, also while that's in progress, I'm working on the back half, which is really solid. There's no rust. It's all surface rust that just will rub right out. And I'm going to clean that up and paint that. And I've been working on all the other stuff too, piece by piece. Like here's one of the shocks. It was rusty, but now you can't even tell from a distance. 
painted one. This is the old one. I think I have knocked a little bit of the rust off of this one, but you see how rusty they are. But they still work. So I'm going to get to work painting that undercoating on there. See how good this stuff works. Comes out quick and far. Oh yeah, I like that. like it put a really thick coat on there so I'm gonna let that dry and I really can't clean that up now because I don't want to put no dust in there but by the time you see the next clip this this will probably be all cleaned up and at least primer hopefully so all right quick see. update I figured I'd get into this while I was waiting for that to dry so I can clean that so I figured I'd mess with this master cylinder or whatever and uh it was pretty gummed up like I don't, I don't think it was working those holes right there were all clogged this piece right here wasn't moving at all so i i i worked it and got it broken loose my daughter just came out the door ruining my vlog <laughs> Sorry. but yep yeah, that's where i'm at now so yeah. Also, this this was rough, and I had to sand it down because I'm I'm pretty sure this was not sealing with this. I'm sure when that was on there, it wasn't sealing. So I'm gonna paint this up and put it all back together. These brake lines are rough, but I don't know where I can find any more of these. Maybe Go Power Sports. Be the first time I ever actually bought something from them if I did buy it, but. I don't know, they still seem to be solid. They're just cracked. All right, guys, so it's the next day. Let's see. All right, I've been a little bit active this morning. I already painted some of this. I'm out of paint again, so I gotta run back to the parts store. I got the undercoating on, and I've been working on just little things. Touching up. Gotta paint one more shock and touch those other two up. Got that painted up, and I'm pretty sure that's gonna work. I still gotta paint these that and you can see this stuff's all ready for assembly <clears throat> all these bearings and everything in this thing are in immaculate shape so yeah there's a torque converter and the headlights steering wheel steering knuckles so yeah today i hope my goal for the week for the weekend is to have this thing back together ish does that make sense i want to put his i want to have it back into one piece at least with these two parts and there's my seats this one came out way better than this one <laughs> i should have cut that wood a little shorter but i didn't but they're ready to go back in either way so yep stay tuned so, this is all i've gotten done pretty much Primer, primer, not a whole lot. So, you know, paint takes a long time to dry. I've got a lot of it up there. <laughs> I've been using it. But as soon as all this is painted, of course, you know, it's going to go back together. So, and I might have another motor line. I actually have two motors lined up. One costs money, one is free. And, uh, I'm going to have to go with the free because I'm sorry TC, I can't afford it right now. So, that's where we're at. A couple more coats of black spray paint and right, one last quick update. It's assembly time. Getting in line to go back together. I'm still touching up on the paint and whatnot. This thing's hard to paint man, there's a lot of spots you miss. Gotta go back, sand some more. But this thing, for the most part, is done being painted. 
and all the little stuff is just laying around waiting to go back on so a little bit more painting to go and reassemble time sorry it's taking so long but it's a lot to do those are looking really good so all right all right i just got off uh watching a live stream of dorito and the lucha cabre and uh i wanted to put this video up shout out to them boys check them out but uh got everything back together i'm having trouble right now with the little master cylinder bleeding through i can't get it to i gotta take it back apart it needs to be cleaned better so but she's coming together I got the two back tires holding air and mounted and yep that's where she sits it's a lot closer than it was though so all right I appreciate you guys watching this video and uh, if anyone knows what kind of frame this is if anyone's seen this frame before let me know because I have no clue what it is thanks for watching